for the best coach in the country. Coach Urban Meyer! Thank you very much. I was, uh, Dom and I are going to do a little question and answer. Before we get going, uh, I'm going to finish with introducing some important people. But before we introduce our players, I want to make sure that uh, we give a, a nice round of applause for a group of people that moved from all over the different parts of the country. Eight of my nine coaches came back home to the great state of Ohio. So I want to, uh, you to say a big thank you to the best coaching staff in college football. Another thank you would be to the better halves of that best coaching staff in college football. The coaching staff's wide. I like the coaching staff's wives. And please stand up so we can recognize you and give a round of applause. sure what Brutus is doing. You saw something in your football team that you liked and that, and, and that you saw something that you thought they got it. What was that? What, what happened? Well, the journey, I'm going to go ahead and take it run with us now for a second because I think it's real important that, uh, that this great football team, it's not just a bunch of numbers and helmets and, and faces behind that helmet. I want to talk a little bit about what happened. The journey started. Ohio State's had a great Great tradition, great years past. A new coaching staff comes in, there's some adversity, and it's a, really a blind leap of faith for them to follow a brand new coaching staff and maybe doing it a little different than it's been done in the past. Uh, there was a lot of resistance, there was a lot of pushback. The guys worked hard, however, they never really played with purpose. There's a bunch of guys out there went through spring practice. To be quite honest, we were very average, to maybe below average in a lot of areas. And then uh, we, our mission was real clear. We made it clear to our players we want to make the great state of Ohio proud. That mission was enhanced in the summer when we found out we had really something, we had purpose all of a sudden. That purpose was a great group of young men that didn't have to stay. We got hit with sanctions in December, and every one of these young men in the senior class, they could have left. They're great human beings. I wasn't quite sure. We had a meeting, and I wasn't quite sure why they stuck around. I recruited them really hard because I really didn't know them, but I wanted them back. I knew our chance to win because there's pretty good players in that class. But I really didn't quite understand why they stayed. Throughout spring, our off season, spring practice, and summer, as we got ready to go play, I figured it out real quick. It's because this will go down as one of the great senior classes in Ohio State University history. Just a bunch of guys running around making mistakes, playing hard sometimes, winning games, losing games. A team with purpose and talent, that's when magical things happen. This team all of a sudden started to sense deep purpose, and that purpose was very clear. Win as many games as we can for this unselfish group of seniors, and our guys did that. Well, if you go back to the first four games, first three or four games, um, in coach speak, it was not very pretty. It was uh, a team finding ways, once again, finding ways to win against 
Alabama Birmingham. We had to, uh, Braxton had to scramble, make a play to win a game against Cal. Not a very good looking uh, team were in score the gray that day. However, they found a way to win. Then something magical happened that I'd like to share with our student body as well. Something happened on uh, September 29th at about 11.22 in the afternoon. We went to East Lansing. And it was there that myself, our coaching staff, and our group of players, we had a very honest conversation. And I made it clear to them, and our coaching staff made it clear to them, there's some bad stuff about to happen unless we figure this out. We start to come together, play with purpose, and we opened our hearts that day to play for one another, excuse me, to play for this great university, to play for our families, but most importantly, we're playing for each other. And that's when it all changed that day in East Lansing, Michigan. something bad was he wasn't it wasn't going to happen and uh, Friday afternoon uh, they tried a lot of things and it just wasn't working out so that put a lot of pressure on our players a lot of pressure on our coaches to overcome not our best our best player our, our captain our leader not playing the emotions went wild our defensive team played with purpose our entire team played with purpose to get John Simon that game ball well coach uh, we're going to bring this What John Simon meant to this club. Well, John Simon, we all uh, talked to Mike Rables, his position coach, and unfortunately, Mike got him in really his second year of coaching. He might not never have another shot to coach a guy like that again. So, if you say, "What's the face of Ohio State football?" This team will be forever remembered as one of the six teams that went undefeated. John Simon is who this football team is. classes in Ohio State history. One at a time, I'm going to bring them up. First young man out of St. Albans, New York, will graduate in January 2012. Kareem Stevens, come up here, Kareem. Out of Cincinnati, Ohio, linebacker Russell Torrey. <laughs> Biology major, going to graduate in December, go on and be a doctor. Love this guy. Started for me on special teams from Gahanna, Ohio, linebacker Stuart Smith. Justin Seams. Played wide receiver and corner. 
three-time letter winner out of Dublin, Taylor Rice. Appeared in 49 games, four-year letter winner, fullback out of Coldwater, Ohio, Adam Coleman. Four-time letter winner. Played in 44 games, total career, 91 tackles, two sacks, two interceptions. Will graduate in the summer of 2013, Newark, Ohio. Linebacker Storm Klein. <laughs> Average 41 yards per punt for us out of Westerville, Ohio. Did a great job swimming in our last game. Punter Ben Buchanan. One of my favorite guys, extremely unselfish player, I've already graduated, has a BA in marketing, appeared in 33 games, very instrumental in all of our special teams, safety, Zach Domico. <laughs> Was a tight end to start his career, we moved him to offensive line in January this past year. Became one of the best offensive tackles in the Big Ten. From Gross Point Farms, Michigan. Offensive lineman, right tackle, Reed Fragle. From St. Petersburg, Florida, appeared in 49 games, finished his career with 131 tackles, six interceptions, 2009 academic all Big Ten, critical, critical playmaker for us this year. Our safety, Orion Johnson. From Dublin, Ohio, 53 receptions, 714 yards, 13 TDs. Four-time letter winner, had a big play up in State College, a 70-yard touchdown to reception to put the game away. Number 11, wide receiver, tight end, Jake Stolberg. From Miami, Florida, OSU scholar athlete, two-time academic, all Big Ten. Will graduate this spring, appeared in 43 games. First team, all Big Ten, played his best year of football this last year. Number seven corner, Travis Howard. Villa Park, Illinois, 51 games he played, 86 total tackles, was elected captain of this 2012 team. Our nose guard, Garrett Goble. <laughs> By far his best year and most meaningful year as an Ohio State football player. Three-year letter winner, Ottawa Mention All Big Ten. Should have been All Big Ten, 119 total tackles, five sacks, 12 tackles for loss, one interceptions. One interception has already graduated. Our captain and one of our great leaders, Adrian Sabino. One of the great stories, arguably, in Ohio State history, certainly of this season in college football in general, 
The essence of what college football and team sports are all about, putting team before self. He appeared in 51 games. He started at fullback, was probably the, be was the best fullback in the Big Ten. Midway through the season, midway through the season, we had some injuries at linebacker. On a Tuesday practice, uh, I went over and I asked number 44, I said, we need you on defense. Within 10 minutes, he was a starting middle linebacker in Ohio State. He will graduate in the spring 2013 from Pickerington, Ohio, our captain, number 44, Zach Bullock. He appeared in 50 games, led the Big Ten with nine sacks, 14.5 tackles for loss this year. Totaled 153 tackles, 21 sacks, 46 tackles for loss. A two-time captain, 2011 to 2012. Defensive player of the year in the Big Ten. First team all Big Ten, the last two, the last two years, 2011, 2012. Four-time letter winner. One of the all-time greats to ever put on a scarlet and gray jersey. Our heart and soul from Youngstown, Ohio, Captain number 54, John Sutton.